Hey everybody! My name is Maya and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite ultralight setup when fishing for bass in the summertime. I wanted to do this video to give you guys some insight as to what I'm using in my summertime bass fishing videos and why it works so well for me. So let's do it! So the first piece of equipment that I want to cover in this video is the rod. So right here I have the Ugly Stick GX2 and this is made by Shakespeare. This is an ultralight uh, 4 foot 8 rod and it's extremely durable. This is one of the things that Ugly Stick does a really good job with is just its durability. I mean, look, look at that rod bend. That's almost in a complete circle and it can go further. Um, I just don't want to push it to its limit right now during a video. Um, catching any size bass is really fun on this rod, especially two to three pounders. They can put up a ridiculous fight. It's got this really nice sensitive tip so you can feel all the bites and you can feel the fish fighting. I mean, when I catch pike on this rod, you can feel every little shake of their head. And don't be fooled by the fact that this is an ultralight rod either. It has really good casting abilities and has the potential to pull in some big fish, should you hook into one while ultralight fishing. This is an 18 pound mirror carp that my dad accidentally caught and successfully landed with this rod. We've also been able to land several smallmouth in the three pound range and a handful of five pound pike with this rod. So I would highly recommend this rod to anybody who's looking into getting into ultralight fishing. I just want to quickly mention that the Ugly Stick GX2 does come in a rod and reel combo and that's actually where I got that rod was with the reel combo. This is the reel right here. I don't recommend getting the rod and reel combo and this is why. Listen to this. My dad and I each got one of these combos and it lasted us about two weeks before it started getting choked up like this. And I mean, that's just not, that's not the kind of sound that a reel should be making. So we took apart the entire thing. We cleaned out all the parts and then we greased everything back up and put it back together perfectly. And I mean, it didn't fix anything. And you can buy the Ugly Stick Rod for about $40 and the Rod and Reel Combo for 50. So honestly, this reel is only worth like $10 anyways. So instead of spending the $50, I recommend you just get the rod and then I'm gonna show you my favorite reel for this setup that I would recommend instead. So this right here is the Fluger President 25X Ladies Reel and I have it on the Ugly Stick GX2 rod that I just showed you and you can see that it's the perfect size for this rod. This reel has 10 ball bearings, which basically just means that it has a very smooth retrieval. You can put two, four, six, or eight pound test line on it, but I found that six pound monofilament seems to be the best when ultralight fishing for bass. The final topic that I'm gonna cover in this video are my favorite ultralight lures for bass fishing. First up is a lure that almost never fails, and it's something that I always make sure I have in my tackle box before I go bass fishing. So this right here is the Bass Pro Shop Tournament Series Senko, and these are the black and blue color. Now for ultralight fishing, I love the 5 and 3 8 inch size. I feel like it's just the perfect size for 1 to 2 pound bass to get in their mouth easily and to have a little afternoon snack or dinner or I guess whatever time it is for the fish when they're eating it. My favorite way to rig a Senko is wacky style, but the weightless Texas rig and the shaky head rigs also have a lot of success when bass fishing. So the next lure that I'm going to talk about is the crankbait, which I have right here. So this is a 2 inch crankbait. and. The two inch sizes seem to be perfect for fishing creeks and ponds, which is again, generally where you're gonna be ultralight fishing. These little lures come in a variety of colors and they can imitate a bunch of different critters. My favorite designs are the crayfish, the minnow, and the grasshopper. These little lures work exceptionally well for catching bass in the summertime and they're something that I'll always keep in my tackle box. The next ultralight lure that I'm gonna talk about is the paddle tail. And if you've watched any of my summertime bass fishing videos, you know that I love these things. I especially like the 2 inch black and chartreuse paddle tails and I rig it on a 1 16th ounce jig head. The action of a paddle tail imitates bait fish almost perfectly and it makes it a very appetizing snack for bass. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something from it too. I just wanted to show you the equipment that I'm using in the summertime because looking back on my older videos I realized that I didn't really say much about the equipment that I'm using which is kind of a big thing when you're fishing. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, fish on, my friends.